In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the £50 in play free bet offer that comes along every now and again with Bet365. So, hey guys, welcome to the video. This video is going to be about the Bet365 in play free bet offer, how you can do it, how you can be safe with your free bet. And on top of that, you can also qualify for a free two up as well, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Now, there's lots of different variations of this free bet offer. Some people, when they first start match betting, they only get the £5 in play free bet offer. Some people get the 10, some people get the 20, and some people get the 25. And of course, the big one, the big massive one with the biggest profits available is, of course, the £50 in play free bet offer. Now, if you stick around throughout this video, at some point, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can continually get the £50 free bet offer with Bet365. So if you're stuck on the £5 free bet offer or the £10 or the £20 and you want to scale it up and always get the £50 in play free bet offer, if you stick around, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do that. So with that being said, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the computer screen and walk you through exactly how you can profit from this in-play free bet offer. And if you like this video, guys, don't forget to tap that like button and hit the subscribe button as well if you like my content. Okay, so I've just loaded up Bet365, as you can see in this window here. And on the other uh, browser, I've got the Match Betting Calculator, the basic calculator with Odds Monkey in that browser there. And on another tab, I've got the Betting Exchange Markets. Now in this example, my example here, we've got the Belgium versus Italy game. And as you can see, it says here, the in-play bet offer, and that's highlighted in yellow. So if you click on that, that will tell you the maximum in-play free bet that you're applicable to receive if you place a bet and if you unlock it. So you can see here, it says, get a free bet up to the value of your largest pre-match bet, maximum 50 pounds. So if you can't remember what you received by uh, email or what you received by text message, just have a look at inside that box there and that'll tell you the amount that you're applicable to receive if you place a bet. So obviously with, with my example, I need to place a 50 pound bet to unlock the in-play free bet. So what you could do, you could load up Odds Monkey, load up their odds matcher and find a really, really tight match between the back odds with a bookmaker, Bet365, and the lay odds with a bet exchange. But what I prefer to do, I prefer to take a slightly larger qualifying loss because I'm already going to be making a, a big profit anyway from this £50 free bet. And the reason I choose to do this is because the two-up offer is applicable to most of these games that Bet365 give these offers out on. So what I choose to do, I choose to get on either the home team or the away team. I don't get on the draw and hope to see that the team goes two goals up. And obviously I'll, if they do, I get a larger profit. So with that being said, that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. So obviously in this, in this example, we've got the option of Belgium at 3.4 and Italy at 2.35. Now, if we look on the betting exchange, you can see Italy a 2.46 to lay and Belgium a 3.6. Now what you'll find is the higher the odds get with a bookmaker, the, the larger the spread will be between the bookmaker's back odds and the betting exchange's lay odds. So basically what that means, if you're getting on the team with the shorter odds, which in this example you can see there is Italy, if you're getting on that team, backing and laying them, the qualifying loss will be smaller, the chance of the two-up occurring will be larger, but if the two-up does occur, the profit from the two-up won't be significant. It'll be a nice little profit, but it won't be enormous. Whereas on the flip side, if you were to get on Belgium, in this example, their odds are obviously higher this time than Italy's. So Italy's a 235, Belgium's a 3.4. And on the exchange, you can see that the lay odds are 3.6. So if you were to get on Belgium, the qualifying loss would be a little bit higher because the odds are higher and the spread is bigger between the back and the lay odds. But if that team went two goals up, Belgium in this case, the early payout was triggered you would have a much larger two-up profit from the early payout, but the qualifying loss would also be bigger as well. So it's up to you what team and what uh, odds range you want to go for. For me personally, I'm just going to go for Italy. In this example, the odds are shorter, the qualifying loss will be shorter, and I'm going to make a profit from the free bet in playing just a little bit as well. So it's all good, and I'm going to go for Italy on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Italy. That loads up the bet slip. and I'm going to put in my stake, which is £50. And then once I've put the £50 stake into the bet slip, I'm going to click place bet right there and there we go the bet has been placed now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to the match betting calculator pop in the back stake which i've used with a bookmaker make sure the calculator's preset is set to normal pop in the back stake which is 50 pounds double check the odds which was 2.35 2.35 and then go over to the lay odds box which is just below the back odds box over to the betting exchange and check the lay odds on italy which you can see the the lay odds in italy 2.48 so i'm going to go back to the match betting calculator and pop in 2.48 into the lay odds box there so as you can see what the calculator does it provides you with a lay stake that you want to use on the selection that you back so you can see here the calculator is providing me with a lay stake of 47 pound 38 and obviously at odds of 2.48 because that's what we put in there so we want to be laying this number right here at odds of 2.48 
on Italy in my example. So I'm going to go back to the Betting Exchange, click on Italy, pop in the lay stake, which is £47.38. p. So you can see there, £47.38 at odds of 2.48. And then once you've done all that, you just want to double check the liability, what's being displayed. As you can see there, the liability is £70.13 on Smarkets. Back to the calculator, you can see the liability will be £70.12. Sometimes gets it a little bit wrong when the numbers start to increase. Either the calculator's slightly wrong or Smarkit's calculation's a little bit wrong. One of the two's not right, but if you're very, very close, you know that's right, and you know you're good to place the lay bet. So I'm gonna go back to Smarkit's, click on sell, and then click on confirm, and my lay bet is placed on the bet next change. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We've now qualified for our in-play free bet, and if we go over to bet365, you can see there in the yellow it says in play bet offer qualified 50 pounds so we know we've qualified for the in play free bet but we've just got to wait until the game actually goes in play to use the free bet now what i normally do and what i'd recommend doing if you're not used to odds movement in play and stuff like that is just waiting until the game's at half time so when the game's at half time the odds aren't going to be moving around all over the place there's going to be no chance of any goal scoring and the odds being swung up and down it's just going to be nice and easy and nice and stress-free to do so with that knowledge what I'll do is I'll resume this video later on when the game is at half time and then we can use that £50 free bet and we can lock in about 35 or 40 quid. So I'll see you shortly guys at the half time mark. Okay guys so it's half time, I'm back and it's currently Italy 2, Belgium 1 and Belgium literally just scored a penalty, Lukaku just scored a penalty at the last kick of the half. Um, so as I backed Italy, they went two goals up initially, I got the early payout it's currently at about 30 quid if I decide to trade it on the exchange. But I'm probably just going to keep this as a full turnaround bet, so I'm probably not going to cash this uh, this two up out, largely due to the fact that there's a large incentive for Belgium to score, and there's a problem with Bet365's website. As you can see, the My Bets feature isn't working, and all the, the bet history and stuff isn't working. So I'm very, very cautious about actually placing my free bet with a bookmaker and then laying it off on the exchange, because if I place the free bet with a bookmaker, lay it off on the exchange, and then they void the free bet, and the lay bet loses, I'm gonna have a big imbalance of money, and I could potentially lose quite a lot of liability on the exchange. But what I'll do is I'll show you an example anyway. So what you would do, I'm just cautious of the second half starting here, so the odds may start to move around a little bit. What you would do is you would select which outcome you wanted to use your free bet on. So I'm gonna select Draw. Then you would select this, use free bet in play, £50 if it's £50, £10 if it's £10, £5 if it's £5. Select that, click place bet, the bet's placed with the, uh, the bookmaker. Then you'll go to the match betting calculator, select free bet SNR mode, backstake 50, pop in the back odds, 4.33. Down to the lay odds section, over to the betting exchange, um, and you can see the lay odds are 5.5, so you would pop in 5.5. And then you would use this lay stake that the match betting calculator has provided you with, so it's £30.27. And you would use that lay stake at odds of 5.5 in my example. So you would click the 5.5 on draw, get your stake, £30.27, put that stake into the lay stake box, check the liability 136.23, 136.22, and then you would place the bet like that, nice and easy, and then you would lock in this profit down here at the bottom. Again, this isn't ideal because of this my bets function, which has been completely removed from the site. And this is why I don't actually want to place this bet in case they void any bets in this, this period of time. So yeah, but that's pretty much how you would do it. You would place the bet with a bookmaker, the free bet there. Select the, this box here, place the bet. Pop all the stuff into the calculator, pop the lay odds in. The calculator will provide you with a lay stake, £30.27. You'd use that lay stake at the odds you'd specified, place the lay bet and you would lock in your profit and your profit breakdown would be displayed down at the bottom of the page. So if you're only getting the £5 free bet or the £10 free bet or even the £20 free bet but you're not getting the £50 free bet, the way to fix that is super super simple and all you've got to do is just up your stakes so when you're betting and when you're placing bets on offers and the two up offer and stuff like that, just up your stakes to above £50. The more you bet at £50 or more, um, the more chance you have of getting the in-play free bet offer with a uh, maximum free bet of £50 which is obviously the biggest free bet that's available and you can smash in the biggest amount of profits with that free Bet. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. If you want to learn more about match betting and learn more ways of making money as easily as possible from match betting, hit one of these two videos right here and you can watch them right now. Cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.